everyone welcome back to pabli in this video we're going to learn how to create github issue from notion item so i am a part of a development team and we manage all our projects and plans with the help of notion so here what is going to happen that as soon as any of my members of the team are going to enter any issue details in my notion database as an item automatically i want to create that item as an issue in my github account so that we can address to that issue promptly and immediately so for that what i'm going to do is i'm not going to do this manually because this is going to take me a lot of time so i'm going to create an automation with the help of pabli connect for that what is going to happen that as soon as i'm going to enter the database item in my notion automatically that item is going to be created as an issue in my github account for that we're going to be creating this amazing automation between notion and github with the help of pabli connect so if you want to learn this amazing automation then let me take you all to my screen Welcome to my screen. So in this video we're going to learn how to create GitHub issue from Notion item. So I am a part of a development team. My team uses Notion to plan, brainstorm and organize all project related task. During the session a team member identifies a bug, a potential bug or a new feature idea and adds it to Notion. Instead of manually creating a corresponding issue in my GitHub account, this integration will automatically convert the Notion item into my GitHub as an issue. This ensures that all development team can promptly address the issue or implement the feature, improving efficiency and keeping the project on track. This integration is particularly useful for project managers, developers and team leads who need to ensure that all identified tasks bugs or feature requests are tracked and addressed promptly without any manual efforts and we are going to be creating this amazing automation by using pabli connect so on the screen you can see the website of pabli connect that is pabli.com/connect after browsing this website we need to sign in to our pabli connect account but if you're a new user you can sign up for free and get 100 free tasks every month so as i'm an existing user i'm going to sign in to my pabli connect account After signing in you can see the all pabli apps window in front of you in which you can see the five applications of pabli from which we are going to select pabli connect by clicking on access now then pabli connect dashboard is going to appear in front of you in order to start an automation process in pabli connect we need to create a workflow for that click on the top right corner button right over here that says create workflow a dialog box is then going to appear which is asking for a workflow name so i'm going to give a name to my workflow as how to create github issue from notion item so this is the name that i want to give to my workflow okay next it is asking for us to select a folder so on the left side of my screen you can see i've created multiple folders in my pabli connect account from which i'm going to select a specific folder in which I want to save this workflow and for that click on this arrow. So these are the folders from which I'm going to select Notion Automations as the folder I want to save this workflow in. After giving a name to a workflow and selecting the folder, let's click on Create in order to create a workflow. A workflow is created in the name of How to Create GitHub Issue from Notion Item, and there are two windows in front of you. One over here says Trigger, other says Action. Trigger and Action are the two most important steps of our automation process because the process depends on these two concepts. Over here, Trigger says when this happens, and Action says do this. That means our action is a response towards our trigger. In an automation process, there can be only one trigger step but multiple action steps. Firstly, we need to set up our trigger step, and for the trigger application, we are going to select it as Notion. We are selecting our trigger application as As Notion, as I've already told you, that my team are going to enter the data of the issues details in the database that I've created in my Notion account. So this is the database that I've created in the name of issue details, and I want that as soon as a new issue has been entered in this database, automatically Pabli Connect should capture the response. So what we have done is for the trigger application, we have selected it as Notion, and for the trigger event, we are going to select it as new database item. As when the new database item is going to be created, automatically Pabli Connect should capture the response. After selecting the trigger application and the event, you can see over here it says connect. We're going to click on this button. A new window is going to appear on which click on add new connection. But if you want, you can select the existing connection. After that, click on connect with Notion. Then a new window is going to appear. Over here, it is asking for a permission. Firstly, it is asking for us to select the page that we want to give access to Pabli Connect. For that, I'm going to click on the Select Page button. I'm going to select all the pages from here, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this Allow Access button. As this is a safe process, my data is perfectly safe with Pabli Connect, so I'm going to click on this Allow Access button. 
as i've done that you can see notion is now successfully connected to public connect firstly it is asking for us to select the database id so i've created a database in the name of issues details and i want that as soon as a new item is going to be created in this database automatically public connect should capture the response so for the database id out of all these ids i'm going to select it as issues details as i want to capture the response of the new database item of this database id right over here okay after that over here it is saying save and send test request as soon as you click on this button right away what is going to happen the last database item that you have entered in this database right over is going to be captured as a response right over here as we have not entered any database item right over here firstly we are going to create an item and then we are going to click on this save and send test request button so for the item right over here it is asking for the employee name date issue name issue description and the created time so i'm going to enter the new database item over here by click on this new button it is asking for the employee name for the employee name i'm going to give it as test user this is the employee name for the date over here we're going to select today's date as the issues for the today's date it is asking for the issue name i'm going to give it as the issue name is data sync inconsistency so this is the issue name right over here okay it is asking for the issue description i'm going to write it as as you can see that i've entered the issue description that is data entered on mobile devices does not sync properly with the web version so this is the issue right over here that i've entered in this database in my notion account count right over here as you have entered all the required details over here i'm going to click on next save and send test request button and as we are going to do that you can see over here we are going to receive a response and the response that we are going to receive is the details of the database item that we have created so we are going to tally the response okay it is asking for the issue name right over here for the issue name it says data sync inconsistency so this was the issue name that we have written you can see right over here okay next it is asking for the text content of the issue description so this is the description of the issue that we have entered in our notion database over here next it is the employee name we have returned the employee name as test user you can see right over here and all the other details as per our database item that we have created so this means that notion is now been successfully connected with public connect and a trigger set up is done now whenever you go to create any database item in this database right over here automatically public and it is going to capture the response but if you are not going to receive the response immediately then do not worry as over here you can see it says eight hours Notion is a polling based application that means in every 8 hours whenever the new data is going to be captured by Notion it is going to send that new data in every 8 hours to public connect if you want to make changes in this trigger time you have to click on this three dots and over here it says set trigger time we go to click on this button you can see a new dialog box is going to appear and over here you can select multiple options from the trigger time okay there are minimum timing is 90 minutes to the maximum as 24 hours so you need to select the trigger time over here according to your requirement i'm going to select my trigger time as 8 hours right over here okay and then i'm going to click on the save button so now as our trigger setup is done what we want is as a new item has been created in our notion database i want to create that item as an issue in my github account so what we are going to do is we are going to set up our action step and for the action application we are going to select it as github so i'm going to select my action application over here as github and for the action event over here i'm going to select it as create an issue this is the action event that we are going to select because we want to create an issue from the database item that we have created in our notion account okay after selecting the action application and the event let's click on this connect button on your window is going to appear on which click on add new connection but if you want you can select the existing connection after that click on connect with github as you're going to do that a new dialog box is then going to appear which is asking for a permission i'm going to click on authorize pably as the save process in my data is perfectly save with pably connect so i'm going to click on this authorize pably button as you can see that we successfully authorized github with pably connect after authorizing firstly it is asking for us to select the owner for the owner you need to select the owner of your github account okay next it is asking for the repo you have to select the repo so for the repo i'm going to select it as rc0209/pubcon right over here so i'm going to select my repo over here as rc0209/pubcon as i'm going to create an issue in this repo right over here okay for the label of our issue i'm going to select it as a bug right over here okay if you want to have multiple options from these options you can select your own label okay after that it is asking for the, the title of the issue for the title of the issue what we are going to do is we are going to map the data mapping means inserting data from the previous step so we are going to insert the data from the previous step of this workflow and how mapping works is that as soon as you to click on this field right over here you can see it says notion new database item this was the previous step of this workflow you can see and as i'm going to click on this you can see this was the same response that was captured in our previous step it is asking for the title of 
of our issue so for the title of the issue i am going to enter the issue name that we have received in our previous response you can see right over so i am going to select this data from my previous response as i selected the data the data is mapped and as i map the data the data has now become dynamic that means whenever a new response is going to be captured in our previous step automatically the data right over in place of this map data is going to be updated okay similarly for the body we are going to map the data of the description that we have entered in our notion database item so this is description of our issue i am going to map the data of this issue right over here the description of this issue as the body of the issue that we are creating in our github account okay after selecting the body it is asking for the assignee the task that we are going to assign to an assignee okay so i've created multiple assignees in my github account from which you can select a specific assignee to which you want to assign this specific issue to okay after filling in all the required details let's click on this save and send test request button as we could to do that you get to receive a response and the response that you have received is a positive response so now i'm going to open my github account and i'm going to check whether a new issue has been created in my github account or not so i'm going to open my github account so this is the issues page of my github account you can see right over here and i'm going to refresh this page as i've refreshed the page you can see a new issue has been added in my github account i'm going to open this issue The name of the issue is data sync inconsistencies and the description is the data entered on mobile devices does not sync properly with the web version and this is the issue that has been automatically created with the help of the notion database item that we have entered so this means that we successfully created an automation between notion and github with the help of pabli connect so now to sum up till now what we have done I am a part of a development team working on new projects and my team uses Notion to plan, brainstorm and organize all project related task. And what I wanted was that as soon as any of my team members adds any issue details in my Notion database as an item, automatically that database item should be created as an issue in my GitHub account. This is going to ensure that the development team can promptly address to the issue and implement the feature improving efficiency and keeping the project on track. And this was the amazing automation that you can create between Notion and GitHub with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you like this video please do subscribe to our channel. Hit on the like button, comment down below if you have any questions or doubts and please share this video. Not just with these applications you can create automation with the help of Pabli Connect between multiple applications. If you have any doubts you can send us email on support@pabli.com. If you have any queries you can ask your queries on forum.pabli.com. If you have any queries regarding the pricing of Pabli Connect then you can check out this link. If you like this video please subscribe to our channel. Hit on the like button. Comment down below if you have any questions and doubts and please share this video and thank you for watching.